Starting a speech or presentation on the right track might be one of the most difficult and challenging things to do. But have you ever wondered what the best way of starting a speech or presentation is? In the next few minutes, I'll give you three very effective ways on how you can accomplish this in your next presentation. Hi everybody, welcome back to Speaking with Courage, where we all work on enhancing our public speaking skills. And I'm super excited today because I have three very effective ways on how to improve the beginning of your speech or presentation. And over time, I've learned that having the best start for a speech or presentation is one of the things that will set you up for success. And if you've done any presentations at school, in the community, or in front of a camera, you know that the beginning of the speech is important. It sets the tone, it makes you feel comfortable, it gives you confidence to continue throughout the rest of the speech. But not only that, it also engages the audience and gets them interested in your information right out of the gate. So over 25 years, 26 years of experience, I have found that there are three very effective ways to start a speech or presentation. The first one is to use rhetorical questions. These questions have a yes or no answer and you can stack them up and ask maybe two or three at the same time at the beginning of a speech or presentation to get the audience engaged. It will also get them participating by raising their hands. An example of these type of questions is, does anybody here likes to make money? Anybody here likes to save money? Anybody here thinks that freedom of speech is important in our country? Those are important questions or interesting questions that the audience will find uh, very engaging. They will rest, raise their hands, they will say yes, they will say hell yeah and all that stuff. It's gonna get the audience participating right out of the gate. Now the second way of starting your speech or presentation is to give the audience a startling fact or some statistic that's gonna raise their eyebrows. By startling, I don't mean you want to scare them out of their seat, although that'd be a great, great way to start a speech or presentation. I mean, give them something that's gonna make them raise their eyebrows, open their eyes and say, wow, that's an incredible fact or an incredible statistic. You would find something like this, but also you would back it up with a trusted and reliable source so that you can also establish some sort of credibility right out of the gate. It makes you look prepared, it engages the audience, and it's the second best way for me to start a speech or presentation. Now the final one might be one of the most important ones and one of the most fun ones that I have found to do and to start a speech or presentation. Anecdotes and short stories are great, but you just have to be mindful that you can't be too long, right? So wanna make it about 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds long, but if you can tell a story or if you can tell an anecdote to start your speech and presentation, it's gonna draw the audience almost as if you were in a campfire and were surrounded by those individuals around you. You would draw them into the story into your presentation and they become immediately engaged. Now, one cool thing about the anecdote or story to start your speech is that you can leave a little bit for the end of the speech and come for full circle at the end of your speech or presentation and it makes you look really, really good and as a really, really advanced speaker. So there you have it. First, rhetorical questions. Stack up one, two or three questions to get the audience engaged. You can also start with facts or information statistics that are backed up by a source to get the people engaged and interested in your topic. And you can start, the third one is you can start with an anecdote or story that's about 60 to 90 seconds long. It teaches the audience something and gets them engaged right out of the gate. That's it, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos if you're serious about enhancing your public speaking skills. And let's continue working together because as you know, communication skills and public speaking skills are an important factor in your success, not only at work, but in your relationships and in the community. I'll talk to you later.